Final goodbyes to a beloved member of the community. Hundreds gathering in Milwaukee today for the funeral of a Department of Corrections sergeant. Tracy Smith was killed in a road rage shooting last week. Madeline Anderson joining us live with more on how the 46 year old is being remembered. Madeline. Well, cameras weren't allowed inside the church today, but we were invited to catch up with people outside. And as you can imagine, today it was incredibly difficult for everyone, but they took comfort in remembering just how much Tracy Smith lived each day to the fullest. On a gray Friday afternoon, Tracy Smith's smile helps brighten the mood for those grieving her loss. She had that infectious laugh, and uh, man, she was a great source of uh, uh, comic relief, especially in the, you know, Line of, line of work that we're in. Her longtime co workers at the Milwaukee Secure Detention Facility joined her longtime friends. My grandkids grew up nearby with her kids. She would garden and her flowers be so pretty. To comfort the family as they said goodbye to the woman everyone described as the life of the party. It'll never be the same. It, it just, just won't. She's very, very sorely missed. State of Wisconsin versus. Matthew Wilkes. On Wednesday, 35 year old Matthew Wilkes was charged with homicide. He and Smith got into a minor crash at 51st and Fond du Lac last Friday while she was teaching her teenage son how to drive. Smith got out of the car to look at the damage, upset. That's when prosecutors say Wilkes pulled out a gun and shot her. Everybody's having a very rough time with this, just a senseless, senseless act. While senseless, many at the funeral are hopeful. Smith's death is the wake up call this city needs. I think we all should say a prayer tonight regarding our community. A tragic reminder to stop and think before reacting with violence. And as you can see by the outpouring of the people, they, they are maybe looking for something to, to change the, uh, this attitude of, of this community, to care about each other and help each other. And following the funeral, a police motorcade of more than a dozen motorcycles escorted Smith's casket to the cemetery. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Madeline Anderson, Fox 6 News. Such a sad story, Madeline. Thank you.